Today in cannabis news, Michigan state authorities share information on health issues experienced by some individuals who consumed recall cannabis. Florida state authorities finalized the open application window dates for a black owned cannabis company permit. And an Indiana lawmaker announces the finalization of a statewide medical cannabis legalization bill. It's Wednesday, December 8th, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, according to state regulatory authorities, approximately 18 individuals have experienced mild allergic reactions and related health issues, including hospitalization, after ingesting recalled cannabis in Michigan. Judge Christopher M. Murray of the Michigan Court of Claims dropped the recall on a major amount of the cannabis analyzed by Viridis Laboratories from August 10th to November 16th without solid facts regarding what caused the medical complications. The Michigan Marijuana Regulatory Agency failed to inform the state residents that a number of consumers were facing health problems as a result of consuming the recalled cannabis. After facility inspections on October 26th and 27th, the MRA discovered that Viridis was providing erroneous and inaccurate data. The MRA discovered that Viridis failed to keep track of when specimens were put in or taken out of incubators and that incubation temperatures occasionally exceeded the desired range. Other facilities found cannabis specimens that tested positive for aspergillus, a mold that can induce fungal illness. Said specimens were subsequently passed after being sent to Viridis for additional testing. Next up, regulators in Florida will start taking applications for a much-anticipated new medical cannabis company permit that will be dedicated for a black business owner. Under an urgent regulation adopted by the state legislature in October, a single vertically integrated permit will be available, and the Department of Health will take applications for the permit from March 21st to 25th, according to the new service of Florida. The special permit was mandated by the Florida State Legislature in 2017 and is linked to a 1981 discrimination lawsuit, which determined that federal authorities discriminated upon black cannabis producers in the state. Yet, the $146,000 licensing cost for the black grower that receives licensure is also in question. The charge is discriminatory, said to Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Fried because previous medical cannabis company licensing payments were under half that much. Fried has requested an investigation by the state attorney general. Last up, as Indiana is among the few U.S. states without medical cannabis legalization, Republican Representative Jim Lucas claims that they have a medical cannabis bill ready to go. The bill would allow individuals with serious medical conditions as ascertained by a physician to utilize cannabis as well as allow the cultivation, testing, processing, transportation, and dispensing of medical cannabis by individuals with a state-authorized license. In the meantime, Democratic Representative Sue Arrington held a community talking circle this week in a restaurant in Muncie to speak to the community regarding medical cannabis legalization. Last month, the Indiana Democratic Party stated it was beginning a campaign for full cannabis legalization, urging state legislators to implement the policy change. All Indiana state offices are held by Republicans, who also have a supermajority in both of the state legislature's chambers. Recently, though, some Republican lawmakers have seemed to be more receptive on the matter. Representative Matt Lehman, the GOP state House floor leader, introduced a proposal in 2018 requesting for an initial research panel to investigate medical cannabis. Hoosiers rightfully want to know what direction Indiana will take, they stated in 2018. I believe it is wise of policymakers to carefully gather public and professional input. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, Tech and Cannabis, or the International Cannabis Conversation, wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricombs.com, I'm RJ Baldick. And I'm Devin Leal. Have a great day.